North Carolina is just one of 13 states that does not have medical marijuana. This despite the findings of a Pew Research survey from last year, which found that 88% of Americans back its use. Prior to his cancer diagnosis, Senator Bill Rabin says he never smoked marijuana. He hasn't done it since ending treatment. But during those difficult days of chemotherapy... I don't think I would have survived without it. Uh, I was pretty debilitated. He's a primary sponsor of the Compassionate Care Act, which will let patients suffering from conditions including cancer, ALS, Crohn's disease, PTSD, amongst others, use the drug. Congressman Wiley Nickel backed similar legislation last session while still a member of the state Senate. My father died of cancer when I was 18, and he used marijuana illegally during his his final days on earth, and it, it, it helped. Dr. David Castret is the section chief of palliative care at Duke and says while some overstate its effects, there are benefits. Chronic pain that's caused by nerve damage, loss of appetite in the setting of advanced illness for another, um, probably the treatment of nausea related to, to chemotherapy. The bill is facing pushback. The North Carolina chapter of Normal feels it's too restrictive. There are debilitating conditions and pain and all kinds of things that we have listed in the bill, and at some point there'll be more that will be added and should be added. But this is where we are. Then there's the barrier to entry. There are just 10 licenses available. First time suppliers would need to pay a $50,000 non refundable license fee and $5,000 for each facility. They should just involve everybody. Everybody, you know, the hemp industries are already there. The infrastructure is essentially here already. The bill sponsors say they don't support recreational marijuana. They don't believe this legislation is a pathway towards that. Joel, you mentioned the more conservative House now having to take this up. There is a general belief on Jones Street that they will be more receptive to this legislation, but whether or not it has the votes to pass remains to be seen. In downtown Raleigh, I'm Michael Perchick, ABC 11 Eyewitness News. So we'll see if this is the session that medical marijuana can finally get across the finish line at the state house. Uh, Michael, thank you.